Okay, in this video I'll show you how to set SQL prompt and I'll tell you what it actually means. Now before we do that, you might have noticed in, in a number of previous videos that we frequently have to check what database we are connected to and what schema we are using. That is to say what user we are connected as. This is especially true if you as a database administrator are working on several databases and especially if you, one machine has a number of databases you certainly do not want to make changes in one database that you wanted to make in some other database. So in this video I'll, I'll show you how to set your SQL prompt to display the name of the schema as well as the name of the database. What you simply have to do is to find the script that SQL plus program reads when you try to connect to the database or you try to run SQL program and the name of the script is glogin.sql and I'll show you the location first of all we'll go to host operating system and I'll say CD and I'll say and I'll say CD Oracle XE which is the name of the name of a directory I'll say DIR CD app and then I'll go to Oracle and then I'll go to product and I'll go to double one to double one dot two dot zero and I'll go to server and from here I'll go to SQL plus and from this folder I'll choose this folder admin and this is where your G login script should be so in order to edit this uh, script I'll say notepad I'll use the notepad g log in dot sql and press enter and we have this script open let me try to fit this into the recording window and it says SQL plus global login site profile file any SQL plus commands here that are to be executed when a user starts SQL plus or uses SQL plus connect command this script is automatically run so what you simply have to do is to add anything that you want to run at the time of startup so what I'll do here I'll say set SQL prompt and I'll say I'll open a single quotation and person sign underscore user full stop at sign and person sign once again underscore connect underscore identifier dot SQL and I'll close the single quotation I'll save this and I'll just simply mini, uh, minimize it let me go back to the root directory and I'll say SQL plus as sysdba now the prompt is changed now it is showing the name of the user and the name of the database if I connect as a different user I'll say connect as angel wings is the password it says connected and angel and the name of the database so that's how you change your SQL prompt to show you the name of the user plus the database that you're connected to and if I open this G login script once again I can add a number of other things for example I can say prompt this is a test from my dash uni dot net and then I can also say add, add a number of other uh, commands and statements I can say show user once again although we don't have to do it and I'll say 
I'll say archive log list so all the all the important information that I want to see at the start of the, the database and I can also just select name from V dollar database and let's save it and minimize it once again and let me exit CLS and connect once again this DBA and as soon as this script runs it says this is a test from myuni.net the user is sys database log mode it's archive log mode and all the information that I want to check at the start of the database and I'm confirming the name of the database once again and I can check to see that I'm connected as sys and the database is XE.